A few months ago, I was watching a YouTube video and in this video, a consultant was advising a client about what he could do to make his business more efficient. One of the advice he gave was to delegate more of the tasks involved in running the business so that he could concentrate on more important tasks in the company. But this guy has an opinion. He said, I love putting in the work. The first skill most poor people in the world have is doing well what ought not to be done at all or what doesn't matter that much to their bottom line. Let me explain this. In my country, many young people spend several hours watching football and after or before each match, it's usually a practice to see these young people furiously arguing about different players, matches and outcomes. What often surprises me is how deep the knowledge of these young people are about their favorite sport. Some of them are so deep in their studies of the sport that they can tell you about the sporting events that happened before they were born. You will argue with me that such deep knowledge is useful if they want to be sports analysts. But sorry, they have no direction as for anything specific they want to become. They just have passion for sport and that drives them to become sports historians. Well, that's a useless skill. Spending hours upon hours to become a professor in another man's business is doing well in what you shouldn't do at all. And there are so many other examples out there. What is the best use of your time? You have to know that or else you'll be doing well what you shouldn't do at all. What are you living for? You better know what you're living for or else you'll be doing very well what you shouldn't be doing in the first place. I have met people who can narrate movies from the beginning to the end as though they were the directors of the movies. Don't get it twisted. It takes a lot of effort and mastery for anyone to be as good as that but it's useless. While watching movies isn't a bad thing, attaining mastery in the art of movie narration is like doing well in what ought not to be done at all. Certain people wash their cars very well and do their lawn ex excellently just to save a few dollars. Why have pride in doing well in what you shouldn't be doing in the first place? Generally, as a human being, you have to ask yourself, what am I living for? What are my dreams and aspirations? Make a list of three big and important things you'll like to achieve with your life and with this clarity, structure your life to avoid anything else that doesn't seem to be leading you to your dreams. Don't do well what you ought not to do at all and you'll have fast progress through life. Doing something well is a skill but why do well what you ought not to do at all? Negative sensitivity When I was growing up, I loved telling people what I learned to do. I loved telling people what I wanted to do and should I tell you something? Almost every single adult I've ever shared my dreams with had either told me why I can't achieve what I wanted to achieve or they told me with their attitude and body language. Being sensitive is a skill and having an idea about what may go wrong can help you to make good plans. But when your default attitude towards a new idea is to see why it will never work, then nothing in the world can help you. Most adults in our world today have a great skill to know why something cannot work. The problem with this habit is that your mind cannot see two things at the same time. When you decide to see how certain ideas will never work, then everything you'll see will be the facts and researches that support your belief system. The opposite is also true. If you focus on how certain things can be done, everything you see and people you meet will simply increase your chances of achieving what you set out to achieve. This doesn't mean that you should be blind to the threats on your way. It simply means that you must train your mind to accept the possibilities before thinking about the possible threats. Imagine two individuals who have insight about a new business idea. The first guy says to himself, that cannot possibly be in my country because of XYZ. Why the second guy says to himself, wow, this has been done elsewhere and it can be done here. Since the first guy has seen the reason why it cannot be done, he has shut his mind from any other ideas and since the second guy has opened up his mind, he continues coming up with new insights into how he could achieve what he believes he could. Yes, after some time, the second guy has to sit down and consider his threats but that's not his default response and that makes a lot of difference between those who become successful and the rest of the world. The Pride of Doing It All In the very first point of this video, I talked about doing well what you ought not to do at all. There's another skillful thing many poor people do and that's doing everything while they ought to do only one thing or two things. Think about the businessman I told you about earlier. He owns a business and he claims to love to do everything or most things in his business. That of course is stupid but most entrepreneurs do that. In fact, according to a study, 
Out of about 33 million businesses in the United States, a whopping 22 million of them are businesses run by a single individual. That's having pride in doing it all. Think about this video. Most people who watch our channel think that our videos are made by a single individual. But that's not correct. If this channel was being run by a single person, we'll probably still be at 20,000 subscribers instead of what we are today. The truth of the matter is that this video got to the hands of six people before you could view it in our channel. Yes, six different people have to work on this video to make it what you're watching now. But why is that so? Well, I'm terrible at many things. For example, I don't speak good English. I never edited a single video in my life and I hate to even proofread my writings. The only single thing I love to do is write and that's the only thing I do for this channel. I write based on my experience and knowledge as an entrepreneur. Let other people do what they know how to do better than me. After writing the script for this video, I'll simply send it to one of our teammates who proofreads it. From there, the script of this video will be sent to the voice of our artist and from there, someone else has to review the voice, then someone else does the animation, another person reviews the final video, uploads it and sets the data while another person has to design the thumbnail. I mean about six individuals have to work on this video before it can be what you're watching and that's probably the reason why millions of people watch our ideas. If I were to be the one doing all these tasks, I'll not only burn myself out, I'll do terrible jobs. I mean, I'm going to speak bad English because English isn't my primary language. I'm going to do bad animation because that's not my area of strength. Now, you get my point. Most poor people have pride in doing everything. You have to learn how to delegate authority. This way, you can get people to do what they love to do while you focus on what you are skilled at. By having different people on board who do what they know how to do, you'll create something wonderful and you'll be successful faster than most people. Some people would say, but I don't have resources. Well, I didn't have resources to build a team. I negotiated with people and got them to either be my partner or I get them to contribute their skills to my project because we're friends. Poor people often do well what they don't have to do at all. Know who you are and don't do well what you ought not to do at all. Poor people often see how things cannot be possible. Don't allow your mind to see how things cannot be possible. First, seek to see the positive side of the coin. Poor people often love to do everything by themselves. Delegate authority. Build a team and get people to do what they know how to do best while you focus on what you are only skilled at. Do you like this video? Then you might like our new channel about money and entrepreneurship. We call it Money TV. Look at the description box to join the Money TV. We love you.